Covering St. John's County tonight. The St. John's County Planning Department has begun moving forward with the idea of a medical marijuana dispensary being placed throughout the county. This comes less than a month after the St. John's County Commission approved a 12-month moratorium on medical marijuana dispensaries. At a public meeting today, the county asked for feedback from residents as they worked on creating rules for future medical marijuana centers. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker joining us live after attending today's meeting. Francesca. And Joy and Kent, they had a lot on that agenda. Things like hours of operation, security, loitering. But the big question was all about where these places will be positioned. So, for example, a cleaners, a barbershop, a UPS store, and then a medical dispensary? That's the question of where these medical dispensaries should be placed. We want to know um, what they feel is appropriate for our area, for our special community, uh, before we start drafting regulations. It was a meeting that sparked the interest of dozens of St. John's County residents, all eager to lend suggestions to Assistant County Attorney Paolo Soria on where they would like to see or not see medical marijuana treatment centers pop up throughout the county. Right, so what we want to know is, you know, how are we going to regulate these? Where are they allowed? Uh, what zoning district? Is it going to be right next to a Publix? Is it going to be in the back of an industrial center? That kind of thing. Soria says the county has been eyeballing bills that have distance requirements, keeping the dispensaries a thousand feet away from churches and schools. But it was an item on the agenda that many seemed indifferent about. More people seem to be concerned with the shops looking holistic and blending in. Oh, it can't be a head shop or any. It's not. This is medical. This is just like going to your pharmacy, going to CVS Pharmacy and getting uh, uh, some kind, either a pain pill or, uh, or anything, a medical. Um, that's what it should be like. Currently, the existing framework allows only seven licensees to grow, process, and sell or distribute the low THC marijuana to terminally ill patients. Patients can get their prescription delivered by qualified businesses. So I asked that attorney Soria, what are the next steps? He's going to draft up everything that he heard at this meeting, and he's going to send it to the Board of County Commissioners. And from there, they will begin their formal process of making these regulations. I'm live tonight in St. John's County, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, the local station. Francesca, what about people who want to get into the marijuana business? Was there anyone interested in that at tonight's meeting? Oh yeah, there were definitely some people who did voice that they wanted to become medical marijuana entrepreneurs, Joy. And we were told by the attorney that it's not his jurisdiction, it's up to the state to give people licenses to be able to do that here. So, All right, Francesca Amaker reporting live for us tonight. Fran, thank you.